I'm getting infertile eggs from this gal right here. And I have a theory why. Sneak up on me like that. <laughs> hey, you guys, how y'all doing? This has been with Splitting Tracks Pheasantry. Okay, and uh, if you're all new here, please like and subscribe. If you like content about birds and bird tripping and all the family fun and stuff that we got going on here, please subscribe or consider it. Anyways, guys, what are we gonna do today? Well, I'm going to go over the good and not so good of this year's breeding season. Okay, guys, and I'm kind of curious of how your breeding season going is going too, guys. Um, I have some friends locally, you know, here in California, well, throughout the whole state, okay, that I've been in contact with, and they said they've had some fertility issues this this season compared to other seasons, and it's kind of a coincidence because so am I. I'm going through the same thing, guys. It's so crazy. Now, um, for instance, my impians, uh, yeah, I haven't got a fertile egg yet this season. That is a bummer. Last season, guys, I thought I had it all figured out. I knocked it out of the ballpark with impians. Every single egg that I got last season of my impians hatched. Okay. Now, I did lose a couple females. And um, they were very good breeders. But, uh, yeah, we have to move on from that. And I moved some things around. And um, it didn't work. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought it would. I moved Martha with Albert, the older Impian hen. Now, she had a mate before, okay, who is in that pen right there. Now, I got fertile eggs from her the previous season, but she always wanted to be with Albert, okay? Let me show you guys, for example, what I'm talking about here. Okay, here's Martha right here. And there's Albert, all right? Now, the eggs I got out of here and fertile. Now he has been displaying, so he's doing his thing and courting, but she was with this male back there. Can you guys see him? Come on, dude, why do you always gotta hide? These models, I tell you. There he goes, come on, get out of there. Anyways, okay, he has a mate right there and she has been with him for a while but I think him and Martha may still be emotionally attached or something, I swear. Now, I know in nature they are bonded with their mate, you know, that's why you breed them in pairs instead of trios, but I've heard people have had success with trios, and that's gonna be another video because I'm gonna experiment with that later on. But, yeah, that's another video altogether. But he, this one right here was with Martha and things were pretty good, you know, got full legs and stuff. Um, but she always wanted to be over here with Albert. Let me get a better view guys if I can, sorry. She wanted over here on this side with Albert. Okay, so I put her over here thinking that's what she wanted. Well, they live peacefully. All the Impians live peacefully, but none of the eggs were fertile. Hmm, let me show you this other impian I got over here. Okay, uh, so I have this impian right here. Now, he lost his mate, okay? And he's a very good breeder, very good breeder. A lot of, uh, lot of babies from him. Like I said, all my eggs last year were fertile and, um, they all hatched. So what did I do about that? I swapped females, okay? Now, uh, that was a bad move. And I know you shouldn't swap females, you know, um, during breeding season, but um, yeah, I wasn't getting no fertile eggs. Something had to happen, I tried it. Okay, swap females for a while, still in fertile eggs, okay? Um, now, I still have some in the incubator. It's not a total lost cause. Um, but there was conflict once I swapped the females. So, um, yeah, I, I, I had to switch them back. I had to get them back, you know. I'd rather, you know, have birds live peacefully 
than instead of just, you know, stressing them out, trying to get eggs fertilized. Um, my big mistake with the models, well, it wasn't a mistake really. I lost a couple females, you know, and uh, that changed the whole dynamics of my model breeding program. So uh, next year, next season, well, this fall actually, I'm going to move some birds around and um, hopefully get some new females. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do, do that. I don't want to switch birds around during breeding season. That was just a bad move, but it's kind of desperate, you know, didn't work. So uh, yeah, I'm going to move birds around, get a couple new females and um, situate them this fall. So they'll have all winter and then next season we should up and be up and running guys. So that's uh, not so good. So let's get into the good guys. Okay. Albert, he is all good. He is my youngest breeder male He's two this season. And he is happy, healthy, and a very good mate. I mean, he's not breeding, but I don't think it's on him. I think it's on Martha. I think Martha is still emotionally attached to the neighboring bird. Um, you know, this is quite interesting, actually. You know, you think birds are paired up, but with these models, they, uh, they, they get an emotional attachment to their mate. And uh, I've heard about it, never witnessed it until this season. So that's my theory anyways of what's going on. Um, the good really is that Albert, I believe he is going to be a very good breeder. Because like I said, he has danced all kinds, displayed all kinds for Martha, trying to woo her and um, he's doing his part, I believe. So uh, he's not aggressive toward the females. That's another good. And I got plenty of males to uh, continue my breeding for next season and a couple females too but still I need a couple more so yeah the dynamics of Himalayan models guys there is something to that emotional attachment that people always talk about with these guys so Birds are healthy, happy, that's good. She needs to figure out who she wants as a mate, because for sure, it's not that guy. Now I've seen her, or him, sorry, displaying for her as well. But I don't think these girls are having their mates, you know? And when I switched them, it was all bad, so. On to plan B, get a couple more females, move some birds around, and uh, move them around early, so they can get used to each other. Okay guys, so it's not really a total loss. I got plenty of eggs in the incubator still. And you know what, it's just the end of May. So um, yeah, plenty of time left, right? Well, a little time. Let's go check out the yellows. Okay, so with the yellows, they're not so good. Papa here, oh, I'm sorry, electric. God, I get them mixed up. Mixed up like my kids. Um, Mr. Electric here world famous greatest yellow golden pheasant dancer he uh he had some fertility issues this year okay yeah first couple batches infertile just found out this morning that uh we hashed off a few from him so so that's good but i mean the way he displays and stuff like that you know he he should have had all those eggs fertilized you know the girls they I believe they're you know accepted him they've been with him forever and um, yeah so they're not so good Mr. Electric didn't have uh, uh, we didn't have that much luck on his eggs but this morning we have to few from him so that's good you getting old there electric you getting old there buddy god he's got to be like Oh, uh, five, six years? I have to check my records, but yeah. That's, you know, still plenty young. That's no excuse not to have fertilized eggs, bud. Okay, now the good. The yellows. <laughs> Popeye here. My man. How you doing, Popeye? 
this guy right here is doing his job plenty plenty of chicks from him already you know at different stages i got a, some that are a couple weeks old a week old and some hatching today but he is on it you know and i'll take that he's a good looking bird he's a good looking breeder he's really really easy on the girls he's not the best dancer or most extravagant like electric but he does his job and that's what matters not the dance even though electric does get a lot of views you know but still you gotta breed man you gotta breed come here popeye let's get a closer look at you hey buddy oh since i'm out here let me tell you guys about something here i know you see chicken wire here i'm getting away from it okay you guys see my pin build videos I'm going with welded wire this pin has been up for a while so uh you know i'll make it last as long as i can you know the side skirts are uh hardware cloth but um yeah gotta rid of this chicken wire it's still holding strong probably last as long as me you know so yeah that's the not so good and good from my yellows okay now how about boss my red golden pheasant boss hey buddy guess what there is nothing bad about you boss this breeding season you done everything right i don't know how you lost your tail you're not molting already are you hmm anyways but yeah nothing bad to say about you boss plenty of chicks from you your girls are still alive you haven't killed them or anything you know uh and you're beautiful yep you're beautiful another not so good guys you guys know about kevin he's been sick the girls are just starting that um you know that squatting right before they lay you know and um, i haven't found any eggs from him yet but the um the peahens you know they're ready to be bred and kevin is still in his funk he's not 100 percent yet guys he is not breeding so um i don't know if he's breeding you know we get some eggs and i'm gonna put them in the incubator anyways we'll figure out what's going on with them and uh we'll go from there but yeah that's the not so good about the peafowl situation something cool guys i don't know if you seen my last video but we got guinea keats yes we are now proud owner of guinea keats oh sorry baby Oh, look at they love that sun. You see that? Mm -hmm. When the sun's on their face, they close their eyes. Love it. Well, anyways, yeah, I've never been in a guinea fowl, but we have some now. You know, mom had some before. Did you know that? She got rid of them because they were loud. Mm -hmm. Does she think these are going to be quieter? They're not. They're not. No. <laughs> but she just had to do it again. You know what? Mom's becoming a bird addict, and it's because of me. <laughs> I got her addicted to these birds. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And I'm proud of myself for it. <laughs> okay. Well, they're not so good. My silver pheasants. I haven't gotten any eggs from them. Maybe they were late hatched last year. I don't know. But anyways, our silver pheasants, we love them. You know, for now, they're just here. And um, hey. We got a little more time. We'll see what happens with them. But yeah, not really bad. It's just, I mean, it'll happen. It just hasn't happened yet, right, Pedro? When I was a kid, we had some silver pheasants, and uh, they were the first year breeders. So I don't know. A little more time. No worries. No rush. The really good is Mrs. Tragapon here loves us yeah that's really good hi miss tragapon you just love us don't you you just want strawberries that's all and then she realizes i don't have strawberries she takes off and mr tragapon well the good news is i got three eggs in the incubator so if uh mr tragapon here is doing his job and mrs tragapon um we're we're set you know we have some tragapong chicks. Ain't they right, Peaches? Peaches? You're still alive? Oh, Lord. I forgot we had you. 
Anyways, done with Louise. Thanks for taking care of our boy Kevin, all right? Oh, yes. And here's our quail. Our Caternix quail. There's a big old pan. They're housed with some snowflakes and some swin hose. Look at that back there. Oh, let's go see what they're up to. Gus, Ollie, what's going on? Are you protecting the birds? They're protecting the birds. Barking at zombies? There's nothing there, guys. Look. Nothing there. Maybe they see something I don't. But anyways, hey guys, just something I want to say too while I'm doing this video is that, you know, um, year after year, things change. Things you, th you thought you got figured out, turns out you don't, you know? And I don't care how, you know, smart you are or how skilled you are, how much you know about birds. I don't care any about any of that because sometimes things ain't going to go your way and you got to deal with it, you know? And that's what I do, you know? You know, we don't know everything. I'm not a Mr. Know-it-all. You know, I've been doing this for years, yes, but I'm still learning, still learning um, my own birds. And one of the things you gotta learn with birds too, even though this species is like this and this species is like that, they still have their own personalities, you know? And um, like with my models, it's just not clicking up, you know? It didn't click up this year so far. I still got eggs, uh, you know, see what happens with those. But yeah, sometimes it just don't work out. Now, last year, I didn't have any Lady Amherst. All Lady Amherst eggs were zero fertility, you know, because I was depending on some yearling breeders, okay? Can't do it all the time, it's not 100%. I knew that, you know? This year, were those yearlings, those yearling males, there are two now, and uh, I'm getting fertile chicks all kinds, or fertile eggs all kinds, okay? We have some chicks in the brooder, chick, or eggs in the incubator, and um, yeah, fertility is, great so um patience is a virtue i waited i waited i did without my lady amherst last year just so i can have um what i wanted this year i don't breed from birds just you know to have numbers i wanted birds from this from this line of lady amherst right so if waiting is what i had to do that's what i did you know i know some people they they just want numbers so they'll get this bird from here and here and here i'm very particular on what birds i want you know so with that line of lady amherst it was worth the wait because now we got chicks and let me show you these magnificent boys right now there he is he's getting down come on buddy come on there he is a oh boy. Come on, you were just displaying. There you go. Yeah. See this tree right here I put in here? Just because it looks nice? Well, now it's in my way. And they're always behind it when I'm trying to get good footage. But yeah, here's one of my Lady Amherst males that has turned out really great. And uh, come on, buddy. Yeah, great breeder. There he goes. Now he's on it. We're in view. Anyways, that's one of them. Here's my other one right here. This guy is magnificent right here. Right here. So yeah, I was uh, looking forward to my Lady Amherst chicks all year, and finally we got them. You guys, if you ever wanna know about these Lady Amherst I got, check out some of my older videos. Talk about them quite often. Now, here's my swin hose. I got nothing bad to say about these guys. It's all good. Great breeders. Year after year. Great fertility. This guy does his job. The girls do theirs. Yeah, no complaints here. It's all good. 
Now let's go check out Bob White Quail. Now I have some eggs in the incubator right now. Uh, so we'll see how the fertility is on these guys. But yeah, I have some eggs in there right now. I get some fresh water. I give them fresh water. I don't know what these little boogers do, but it's like they throw dirt into their water, like some kind of game. I don't know if you guys as quail do that, but of course I raise my quail on the ground. Maybe that's why. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna sign off now. <laughs> I try to make the ending of these videos a little different, you know? I did like so many takes and I'm like, oh, ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna sign off guys and um, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I enjoyed making it for you. And you know, you take some good, you take some bad. That's what this video was about, you know? The good and not so good of this breeding season so far. And it just goes to show you guys, you know? And it doesn't matter how much you know, how much you think you know, how much you think you got it figured out, you know. I'm no Mr. Know-it-all, and um, I'm proud of that because I'm not gonna say I know everything, and you know, everything's not gonna go my way, just like everything's not gonna go your way. And when things don't go our way, we just gotta deal with it. And that's what we do, we just deal with it. You know, I've been breeding birds for years, but still, I learn stuff every year, I swear. You know, uh, just when you think you have it all figured out, there's a monkey wrench thrown into the plan, and then you have to deal with that. But anyways, anything you want to see, just let me know. Okay, enough for the ramble. I got to go. All right, guys. See ya. Peace.